Surely it needs to signal something to placate how dovish the bond markets have gotten. And what should that signal be to avoid uh, any kind of terrible volatility in Treasury markets? If you look at the move index, I mean, that's mm -hmm. at its highest since 2016 right now, which suggests there could be some volatility ahead. Well, I think for the Fed, the balancing act is on the one hand, they don't want to spook markets. Right. But on the other hand, they don't want to lose their credibility. They made that famous dovish U-turn in the very beginning of this year. So I think... Um, they will probably give some signaling to, to um, please markets in that sense. But I think having anything meaningful coming out of this meeting, I, I, I would be careful to put our expectations too high on that one. How would you trade this, Wolfgang? Would you be putting twos, ten steepeners on? How are you actually trading this, if not ahead of the Fed? Maybe what trades are you waiting to put on post the meeting? I think it depends on what you want to achieve with that trade, right? I mean, if you see a risk-free asset like a treasury as a way to balance your portfolio to take a little bit of risk off, I would say you can still find value in the treasury curve. I would say still the front end looks pretty decent in terms of the uh, risk-reward profile because it is ultimately uh, the world's benchmark risk-free asset. So if we see further escalation in trade wars, in the geopolitical tensions in the Middle East, I think that you could still benefit from it, irrespective of what the Fed communicates actually this week. Okay. Okay. And what about when it comes to the Bund curve as well? I mean, mm -hmm. we can talk about the ECB mm -hmm. too. And, you know, of course, a lot of people saying that the ECB has far less in its toolkit than the mm -hmm. Fed does. So are you trading the Bund curve at all at the moment? I do. But, um, for example, at the front end of the Bund curve, I have built up some short positions for what it's worth. Right. Um, I think at the five-year point, at a yield of minus 60 basis point, I just struggle to see a, a continuation of further and further and further yield drops. The Bund curve is really steep. So I'd rather have my short position than the front end of the curve rather than the belly or the um, back end of the curve. Um, I think it will be very interesting to see what the ECB comes up with because, of course, as you mentioned, the toolkit is on the one hand limited. It's also been a lot of talk around quantitative easing. Will it come back? And then the question would be, of course, in which shape or form will it come back? Um, we have the TLTRO3 program announced and the market is still not quite satisfied with the dovishness of the ECB. So that proves also how much market expectations towards central bank policy have shifted.